Hi guys, welcome to my channel Momstein. Today I'm going to be discussing something about gestational diabetes. One of the most commonly asked questions to me by my patients is, why did they get diabetes during pregnancy and how did it go away after delivery? So let's explore that. One of the basic things you need to know about diabetes is the hormone insulin. Our pancreas secretes the hormone insulin in response to eating food. When you eat food, it goes down into your gut, it gets digested and it gets absorbed. The absorbed form is called glucose. When your blood glucose rises, the insulin drives this glucose into your muscle stores and fat stores and that's where it gets stored. This action of insulin brings down the glucose spike that happens after eating food. In the first half of pregnancy, the metabolic changes that occur in your body put you in an extremely insulin sensitive state. The more glucose is absorbed by the muscles and fat and more fat gets stored. Even though your baby is really tiny and microscopic, you will find that your appetite is high and because of this insulin sensitivity, more fat is getting stored for the future demands of the growing baby as well as during breastfeeding. As the baby grows and you enter the second half of pregnancy, that is when insulin sensitivity begins to get reversed and changes into insulin resistance. This is caused by something called human placental lactogen or HPL. This hormone is released from your placenta and its main action is to cause insulin resistance. That is, insulin cannot act upon the muscles the way it used to. Now you might wonder, why is this happening? Why is HPL trying to harm me? No, it's not actually. This is all pro-baby. So when you have high glucose after eating and because of insulin resistance, the glucose cannot be taken up by your muscles, it is diverted to your little growing baby. Before I proceed further, let's brush up our basics. Insulin stores fuel from our food. It helps in uptake of glucose by the muscles and fat. In other words, if for some reason your insulin secretion is less or the action of insulin is not happening the way it should, insulin resistance, when that is more, that's when you have something called diabetes. Now in case before pregnancy, you were already in an insulin resistant state. Now that could be very possible in the case of an Indian woman because we are metabolically obese. Even though we might look thin on the surface, but we have more visceral fat. We have more tendency to store fat on our organs. So because of that, our body behaves like that of an obese person and we are insulin resistant. We are more prone to having high blood pressure and heart disease when compared to other populations. So in case you were already insulin resistant before your pregnancy, then there are higher chances that the stress of pregnancy and the action of HPL hormone can tip your balance over to the diabetic side. After delivery, the HPL source is gone. The placenta also gets delivered along with the baby and it takes about six to eight weeks for the diabetes of pregnancy to reverse. I have seen patients who have had diabetes in their first pregnancy and were lucky enough to not get it again. I've seen patients who have not had diabetes in the first pregnancy and have had it in the second one. There are also patients who have had diabetes in both pregnancies and did not have diabetes in the middle or after the second pregnancy. You can be in any one of these scenarios. And in case you've had diabetes during pregnancy, there are higher chances of it coming at a later stage, full-fledged diabetes. I'll be dealing with the treatment modalities of diabetes in my future videos. If you have any other queries related to this or any other topic, please write it in the comments below. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.